Oh, good morning, grandchildren. I didn't see you sneak up on me like that. I have a story for you this morning, though. It's Curious George again. If you get tired of him, you let me know. I've been tired of him. This is Curious George and the birthday surprise. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today is a special day. The man with the yellow hat told George at breakfast, I have a surprise planned and lots to do to get ready. You can help me by staying out of trouble. George was happy to help. There they are at breakfast. Oh, it looks fun, doesn't it? Notice George, it looks like he's sitting on a, on a book or something because he's so short. Later, while George was looking out the window and being very good, he heard some tinkly music. It was coming from an ice cream truck. George watched as the whole line of children and their dogs enjoyed some ice cream treats. It looked like fun. But when the ice truck, cream truck moved on, George forgot all about staying out of trouble, and he went to find some fun on his own. Oh, there he is. Look at all, there's George in the window. See him? Uh-huh. And here's all the kids lined up getting their ice cream and their pets. And there's the ice cream truck. They play music when they bring ice cream. Have you ever bought ice cream out of an ice cream truck? In the living room, George found noisemakers and hats and games. Could this be part of his friend's surprise? Before George could find out, he spotted some streamers, balloons, colored tissue. He could not resist. Look at him, getting into all sorts of trouble. All the things he found. Can you find some of the things George found? Can you find a balloon? How about a party hat? Can you find a party hat? Uh-huh. Wow. Decorating was easy for a little monkey. Still, George was curious about the surprise and what all this good smell coming from the kitchen? Mm, George followed his nose. Wow, look how he decorated. He made it look like a jungle. There's a zebra chair and a coconut tree and a, looks like maybe a tiger couch or leopard couch. Wow, George is having fun, but he smells something good in the kitchen, so he's going to see. Mmm, it was cake and it looked as good as it smelled. All it needed was frosting. George had seen his friend make frosting before, but today his friend was busy. Maybe George could help. He could frost the cake himself. He's gonna do his friend a favor, isn't he? There he is, gonna frost that cake. There you go, <laughs> sorry. You still there? I am. My camera fell. Next, George put a bit of this in the mixing bowl. Next, he added a bit of that. Then he turned on the mixer. The frosting whirled around and around. There he is, mixing it all up. It looks like he's doing pretty good. He's got all these ingredients. He's cracking an egg and putting in it. I don't know, George. It was whirling too fast, but when George tried to stop the mixer, it only went faster and faster and faster oh no whoa george lifted the beaters out of the bowl and frosting flew everywhere splash Ooh, it's terrible george what's happening poor george he did not mean to make such a mess he only wanted to help how could he clean up that sticky kitchen just then, George heard the tinkling of music again. The ice cream truck was coming back up the street, and George had an idea. Quickly, he opened the door. Look at the messy kitchen. Look at the icing on George. I bet that tastes good, though. Aha, but he hears an idea because the ice cream truck's coming down the road. So he's running out the door. He's got an idea. What in the world is he going to do? He invited all the dogs in for a treat. No, he did not. In no time, the kitchen was clean as a whistle. Look at that. They're in there licking all of the icing. Can you lick icing like that? 
When the dogs finished their snack, George took them back outside. The ice cream truck was still there, and so was his friend. George, said the man with the yellow hat, I've been looking for you. It's time for the surprise. George had found hats, games, decorations, and a cake. He was curious. Was the surprise a party? So there's the ice cream, or there's the ice cream man selling ice cream to the man in the yellow hat. And here he is, George. He's looking for George. Look, they're still licking the icing off of George. <laughs> still got it on him. Yes, it was a party. George was happy to see all of his friends. They were glad to see George too. What great decorations, said Bill. What a lot of presents, said Betsy. Why don't we play some games with our guests, George? The man with the yellow hat suggested. I have to do one more thing. Hmm. So there is the party. Look at that party, would you? Wow. Buddy, everybody's having a ball. There's moms and dads and little children and pets and just all sorts of stuff. I guess that's that cat, isn't it? Is that a cat? Hmm. No, it's a dog. I couldn't tell. He has one more surprise. What's his other surprise? <gasps> when George's friend came back, he was carrying a cake covered with candles. This wasn't just any party. It was a birthday party. But George was still curious. Whose birthday was it? He watched to see who would blow out the candle. And the man with the yellow hat put the cake right down in front of George. That was a surprise. It was George's birthday. The party was for him. Everyone sang, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear George. Happy birthday to you. Then George took a deep breath. Oh, look at that cake coming. And there he is, all for George. He's got bananas on it. That's a great cake for a monkey. Here he is. He's going to take a deep breath. And he made a wish. Happy birthday, George. That was fabulous. Actually, one of the better ones I've ever read. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. I love you, children.